Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this video is from Signals and Systems, Chapter 1. And this is part of the transformation of independent variables. And here we'll be using two variables, that is time shift and time scaling. And primarily, we'll be using these properties in solving and chapter question 1.5. So straight away to the question. Let xt be a signal with xt0 for t less than 0. Now the signal is not given, so just I have drawn a signal, assumed a signal to be like this. So this is the signal, and xt is 0 for t less than 0. So you can see the signal is 0 for t less than 0. Now for each signal given below, determine the values of t for which it is guaranteed to be 0. So these are the five cases we have to consider and see when is the signal as zero. So part one. Now, if you recall my previous video, I'll give the link also here. Uh, uh, transformation of independent variables. I have explained the theory in details. So if you have any difficulty, you go back and watch that video. Okay, now this is time shifting. But negative t means it has also been reversed. So the first operation we have to do is to reverse this signal. Okay. So flip around the original signal, flip around the origin to get xt. So origin will keep fixed and move the signal or flip the signal to the other side. So we'll get x minus t. xt will now become x minus t. And instead of uh, 3, now it is start uh, going towards the left from minus 3. And now we have to add 1. So if we add 1, it, or that is 1 minus t, the best technique is that you put 1 minus t is equal to 0. And therefore, we get t is equal to 1. So what we have to do, there are two things or two uh, ways to do it. The easiest way is that you add plus one to the scale. Or slightly difficult is that you move the origin along with the signal to the new place one. So I prefer to adding one. So minus three plus one, then minus two plus one, you know, this will become uh, minus 2. So add plus 2 to the bottom scale and get the new scale for x1 minus t. So let's see what is or shift the origin to plus 1. So the new scale uh, by adding this wherever it was the signal was at minus 3. Now the signal will be at minus 2 and left of it. So from here you can see question is Determine the value of t for which it is guaranteed to be 0. So the signal is guaranteed to be 0 or t greater than minus 2. So our answer will be from the shifted diagram, we see that x1 minus t, that is the signal, is 0 for t greater than minus 2. That is on the side. Okay, part b, the summation of two signals, both shifted. So we'll use the first one. Uh, from uh, part A, we, we got this signal already. It was shifted to negative 2. What about this one? We'll follow the same technique. So this was the shifted signal. We'll shift it now by 2. That is, we'll add 2 with all the um, scales. So adding 2, this plus 2 will be minus 1. So our signal will now be at this place at minus 1 and left of it. Now the addition part, so we'll, we have to add this signal and this signal. And you can see that by adding anything to the right of negative 1 will be 0. Because at this point, this signal is present. So it will not be 0. So our result will be addition of the two signals shows the presence of signal for less than negative 1. 
and therefore this signal will be 0 for t greater than minus 1 and the solution manual the answer is given greater than minus 2 which is wrong okay now the third part is the same two signals but now we are multiplying so we reproduce the first one and the second one and now we need to multiply and we know since 0 multiplied with anything value will be 0 so like this 0 multiplying here is 0 also this 0 here multiplying by the signal will also make it 0 therefore we can say that the multiplication signal will be 0 for t greater than minus 2 so up to this point the signal will be 0 so this is our answer Coming on to third part, now this is, if you recall the first video, this is uh, the compression case, speed up, scale is increased three times. This is a case of compression. To get the new scale for XT3, we divide the old scale by three. So in case of a compression, we divide the scale by three. So we divide everything by three. So I'm just taking this part, 3 divided by 3, this will become 1. 6 divided by 3 will become 2. So this is our new scale. And now you can see that the signal is 0 from x less than 1. Sorry, t less than 1 for the new scale. So from the figure, we can see that x3t is 0 for t less than 1. And finally, now this is an expansion case, t by 3. So we'll do opposite of the compression. That is, there we were dividing, here we'll multiply. But to get x3 by uh, x t by 3, we multiply the old scale by 3. So we multiply everything by 3. And so this is our the starting point of the signal 9. Before this, the signal is 0. So our answer will be. From figure, we can see that x3 by t is 0 for t less than 9. So less than 9, the signal is 0. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Uh, please let me know through your comments. Thank you.